Okay. I think we are recording. Yes, we are. Hey, everybody. This is our um, Rising Phoenix International Team Huddle. We are kicking off August, people. It's very exciting. And we are talking about everybody's favorite topic in the world, falling in love with failure. Ah! I'm um, actually really excited to talk about this with everyone. Hey, Kristen, if you can put on your video chat, and Elizabeth, you too, it'd be great to see your, your beautiful faces. Um, just a heads up about our agenda tonight. We are going to celebrate the wins together. <clears throat> we are going to uh, do a little recognition and um, talk about any update. I don't think I have a whole lot of updates. I have some events to talk about, and then we're going to talk about um, failure and what that means for us as business owners. We're going to think as business owners tonight and get our minds right around this topic of failure. So. Um, I'd love to take just a few minutes and celebrate the win. I am going to uh, stop the screen share because I love seeing like uh, I love seeing everybody stop share. I like seeing everybody. So if you um, if you have, I would love to just celebrate like what's one thing that is going awesome in your business right now. And if you don't know how to unmute yourself, use the chat and I can unmute you. But Go ahead and celebrate the win. I have a, I have a few to celebrate. Anyone, anyone? I can um, see. Yes, it's Delise. Yay! Yeah, um, let's see. SC10, hopefully 12 by tonight, and um, finally having a coach that's actually working the business. I ha having two of those, actually. Woo! I'll believe it when I see it, but yay. That's okay. so good! Yeah! I love that. You can't hear, Kristen? Hang on a second. Don't laugh at me, but I'm gonna ask you to try the volume button. <laughs> no, did not work. Call in with your phone. Um, who else has something to share that is awesome in their life? or business. Oh, sorry. Okay. Life. Anything. <laughs> Celebrate everything. Come on. I know Jamie has a win. Jamie, I'm, I am muted you. Tell me, t let, tell everybody what you accomplished in what? Seven days. Oh, you're muted. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'll share for her. Andrew's muted too. She's not muted. Dang it. Huh. Um, she, she has helped three people in her first week as a coach. So I think today she texted me saying that she hit success club for like the first week as a coach and for July, if I got that correct. Nod your head if that's correct. Now she's frozen. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who else wants to celebrate a win? Give it to me. Celebrate a win of Core de Force. Anybody want to celebrate what the heck you got going on in Core de Force? Oh, not Core de Force, the shift shop. shop. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> um, Bill's got some abs going. I don't know about me, but Bill's got some abs going. <laughs> Then it comes by so easy. Lonnie, what's your win? Oh, uh, we made it through 45 today. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little rough. It was rough. But it was good. Elizabeth, what's your win? We have a team cup. And so I uploaded the invite process, and we're all going to learn how to do that together and start actually doing it. Awesome. Love it. Okay, I have a, a paint. Add you too, so I'll get with you tonight. Uh, Jenna, what's your win for the week? Seven pounds and ten inches. Well, what are you holding on to that <laughs> for, sister? <laughs> yep. Lady, you don't keep that good. If you don't keep that <laughs> conversation all to yourself, everybody has to.
to do the whoop whoop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Holly, what's your win for the week? <laughs> um, I showed up. <laughs> <laughs> That I'll take that. Sometimes that is the win, sister. Good for you. Kristen, do you have a, do you have a win? For hey, the week? I'm here. I, I just got on. Do you have a win for the week? I I do. I had my last real estate closing today, so I'm super excited. Woo! And um, yeah, I signed two coaches up, so does that count? Yeah! <laughs> Celebrate that. You're going to be a new Emerald this week. I think that's awesome. Very good. Um, 512, that's Crystal. Crystal, do you have a win to celebrate? Just jumping on board to be a coach. <laughs> Nothing else so far. Well, I think that's one of the best decisions you could possibly make. So I think that's worthy of celebration. Um, and who is 303? That's me. I actually, I wanted to see you guys because I can't see you on my phone. Oh. I'm on my phone and then I'm watching you guys on my computer. Okay, gotcha. All right. You can put your video back on your computer so we can see you. Uh, Andrew, you can uh, celebrate the win too. Are you, can you say anything? I can. I, I'm going to save my win for tomorrow. What? I'll save my win for tomorrow. I don't even know what this is. Oh, because yes. he already has SC in the bag for tomorrow. Oh, yes, you do. But I'm, it's got to come through. Okay. Well, we'll don't jinx it. Okay. Exactly. I'm going to celebrate a massive win for our team. So this will get – I'm going to have everyone do a whoop whoop because, okay, so last month when I did this uh, monthly overview call with all of us, I set a BHAG goal. We had um, added 12 – coaches if you'll recall to our team and I said this month we're going to add 24 coaches to our team and I was like oh my gosh like I that it like scared the crap out of me to even say that because I didn't know where the coaches were going to come from um or how it was going to happen God just kind of gave me the number 24 and you know what I went through our team page and I counted them up today guess how many we added in July 25 what the heck that is a whoop whoop team moment because i didn't do all that i couldn't do all that that's all you guys that's you kicking butt and i'm so stinking proud i literally sat there and i was like god is so stinking good like here i'm gonna give you one extra just to show you how good i am so anyway you guys are pretty amazing and i think that's Awesome. Carla, you just joined us. We are celebrating the win. Do you have any wins to celebrate from this week, sister? I don't know. I'm too, you too on the spot right now. Sorry. <laughs> I just finished dinner. Oh, that was a win. Oh my gosh. I feel so full. Like I thought when the yellows disappeared, I was going to be starving, but I'm eating like all the time and I'm so full. So a lot of yeah. There you go. Win for dinner. Mm. That is a win. I'll take that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to share the screen again, and we are going to get down to some business. I love, I love celebrating the wins. I think that's fun. Um, I want to do a big congratulations. Oh, I got to get this out of the way. There we go. A big congratulations to some new Emerald coaches on our team. Now, I don't know if you remember, but I claimed that we were going to become the Emerald Factory and what does that mean? It just means that, you know, we have overcomplicated this business. It really does not take a whole lot to be successful. It takes consistent effort um, and making a commitment to go Emerald every month by adding two coaches to your team. Well, these girls knocked it out of the park, Tammy, Lonnie, and Michelle. You guys are brand new Emerald coaches and the first to pop out of our brand new Emerald factory. So keep up the great work. And I want to encourage everyone to just kind of adopt that I'm going Emerald mindset. You don't have to, you know, get lost in the weeds of I need to be a five-star diamond and I've got to sponsor, you know, 30 coaches or whatever the heck, you know, BHAG goal is out there. All you have to do is faithfully add to every month and make that a goal to aim for. So super proud of you girls. Way to rock it this past month. 
also want to just um, give a shout out. Like, I don't know about you, but all these names just, oh, I don't know who just wrote on the screen, but that's awesome. Um, all of these names just make my day. I love it. So um, it has been an awesome, I don't know if I can undo that. That's probably going to bug me, but I'm just going to let it go. Um, all these names just signify a lot of hard work. And you know what? I tallied it up. And you know what all of these points come down to? 126 lives that were changed by our team in the month of July. And I think that's pretty awesome. So there is no contribution too small. At any time you reach back and help someone take a next step, um, you are not only helping a person take um, a step in, in living a healthier, stronger life, but you're helping the team um, with team goals too. So I just want to thank everyone for working so hard over July. Um, Coach Summit, I just want to, I cannot, we are going to be talking about this like bananas because you know, the one thing that Andrew and I were like, man, I wish, you know, so-and-so was here, man, I wish we had more of our team here, man, I wish, I wish this leader was here. Like the whole summit, you know, a couple weeks ago, we kept talking about the people who weren't there and how we wished they were. So we want you guys to be planning now to attend a coach summit in Indianapolis. Um, it is the weekend of June 21st. I know that because it's our anniversary. So we'll be selling, celebrating our, our 22nd anniversary in Indianapolis with, you know, 30,000 of our closest friends. So um, you have plenty of time to plan accordingly, plenty of time to uh, budget, and plenty of time to um, earn your way there. If you are a brand new coach, it is worth um, mentioning that you can have a free ticket to Summit simply by helping three people every single, um, every single month for the first uh, three months that you are a coach. So if, you're, if you are a success starter, meaning you've helped, you achieve success club month one, you achieve success club month two, you achieve success club month three, you earn a free ticket to Coach Summit. So um, it's like a like $250 or $300 ticket, so it's worth, worth going for. Also want you guys to hold the date, um, regardless of where you're at. This is Dallas information, but um, Super Saturday and Sundays will be happening all over the country and in Canada. And so make sure you circle the date. Um, I know Chris Downing is going to be at a lot of these events. He's going to be here in Dallas as well as in Houston. So just go ahead and reserve that day and make sure that you get there. Events are just one of those things, you guys, that help build community. They help you, like we always do, training there. You cannot outsource, um, you know, you can't outsource development in this business. You have to show up and take responsibility for that yourself. Okay, new leader conference. I want to plant the seeds of this right now um, because we are in the second half of the year. And honestly, anything can happen because um, take it from someone who anything has happened. Uh, you just never know who that person is going to be that comes into your business and is just like you and wants to help other people and suddenly you're a star diamond or a two star diamond. So new leader conference is a um, special invitation only conference. It happens in LA. I want to say it's in January or yeah, January, 2018. No, this year, I think it's in February. Doesn't matter. To earn an invitation to the event, coaches must rank advance from diamond or lower. So if you're a brand new coach, you still are in this uh, game to one star or higher between, um, well, by the end of the year, by December 31st. So those of you who, um, you know, have your spouse uh, as one of uh, the coaches on your team, you can absolutely build that to uh, one star um, and go to new leader conference. You also have to earn 10 or more elite points. Elite points are something that you start earning, um, you know, once you are a diamond coach, but I will tell you there's a special promotion this month where if you help 10 people, so it's success club 20 that you have to aim at. If you hit success club 20, you are going to be given 10 elite points this month only. 
It is an amazing opportunity. Somebody is unmuted. I'm trying to find you. I think you just muted yourself. Thank you very much. Okay. So if you are kind of running behind as far as elite points, you can have a jam in August and actually make up for it all in one month. So it's a great opportunity for you guys. Um, fall in love with no. Okay. So how many of you are super excited and would love to hear the, the word no more often? Like raise your hand. <laughs> Delise is like, I get it. Yeah, give it to me. Um, yeah, not so many people. I'm trying to open up the chat here. Here we go. Okay, now I can see the chat. Sorry about that. It was driving me nuts. So go ahead and use the chat because I can't see everyone in the video. But how many of you in the chat right now would love to hear the word no more often? Or how many of you feel like the word no just makes you want to vomit? and you feel like a failure and you you just want to avoid it at all costs i would love to see some chat chatter um i wanted to talk a little bit about how failure kind of played into my story of success because i think um i think sometimes the mistake in this business is is to look at people who have a certain degree of success and think oh well it just came easy for them or they never experienced failure <laughs> yeah i know no's are horrible elizabeth but they're not we're gonna flip the switch um and so sometimes we're tempted to think like oh they they just don't understand like they never heard no and i want you to know right off the bat of course i did and so um when i first went uh diamond i called it cubic zirconia because I really didn't feel like I had any true builders in my business. Um, it was kind of by accident, not accident, but it just was by happenstance that I achieved the diamond rank. Um, but what helped get me to that momentum was just being, um, I kind of ran an experiment of really going for no. And, you know, I, I remember soon after I, I achieved Diamond, I got on a call with Kobe Mitchell, who's Ashlyn's husband, and he was doing some one-on-one um, -on -one mentoring with me. And he was like, so how did you achieve Diamond? And I said, I just made a big mess. I just like threw mud on the wall and, you know, tried to see what would stick. Um, you know, I basically, Andrew was one of my Emerald coaches, so I kind of felt like I had a little bit of control on that. And then, what's wrong? Oh, it's in the refrigerator on the top shelf. And then um, my other girlfriend from high school, she had a couple referrals and actually went Emerald just by kind of accident, you know? And so I knew, I knew that wasn't probably going to be the most stable business, which is why I kind of like jokingly called myself a, a cubic zirconia. I didn't really feel like a true diamond leader. And, um, and so anyway, I heard this uh, message um, this go for no message earlier and decided that I was going to focus more on just having massive failure and being okay with the no and to see where that took me over the course of the next few months. So what I learned in that process of just um, really like going big for the no was that the no is a pathway to the yes. The no is definitely not cancer, meaning like no one's going to die from it. And no is always, always, always not yet. I've had so many people who come to me after they've said no um, and, you know, are just kind of ready to take a next step down the road. So Darren Hardy, I hope you guys, we sent this video out in our, um, in our weekly email this past week. So hopefully you watched his little um, video on the pendulum of failure. But basically, if you think about this pendulum, on one side you have failure, rejection, defeat, pain, and sadness. And on the other side, you have success, acceptance, joy, victory, and accomplishment. And the challenge is that with most of us, we are so uncomfortable with the failure, rejection, defeat, pain, and sadness that we kind of stay standing still. We don't move that pendulum to great um, in the direction of failure. So consequently, the pendulum can't swing to the opposite direction of success, acceptance, joy, victory, and accomplishment. So the harder you swing your pendulum in the area of failure, 
it, it, it's just kind of like a, a business principle that it will swing equally eventually in the, in the opposite direction of success, acceptance, joy, victory, and accomplishment. And so this is counterintuitive because we've avoided no our whole lives. We've been conditioned um, to draw within the lines, to you know, avoid the no, don't appear like you're failing. And then all of a sudden you become a business owner and you're being challenged to actually embrace the no. And so it, it's the good news is, is that like you can achieve your dreams. And yes, it will take hard work, but it doesn't have to be a struggle. This is just a different perspective of thinking. You don't have to suffer through the no. You can actually make it a fun process where your emotion is no longer tied to the results of whether you get the yes or whether you get the no. Um, that we can, we can like basically come to neutral. Whether it's a yes or a no, we can um, approach that emotionally neutrally we can remove ourselves from that emotional swing and just learn that the no is a part of the process. We can make it fun. We can celebrate it. We, like I said, we've all been taught to go for yes. And the thing about like the go for yes mentality, if you really think about it, it puts you on an emotional roller coaster. So think about that for a second. Every time you go for yes, what happens when you get the no? you feel depressed, you feel defeated. You actually might start playing that broken record in your head of I'm no good at this, I suck at this, why am I doing this, I, I hate this, right? Every time that you are intentionally focused on only achieving the yes, you start to go through these ups and downs, these emotional highs and lows, and sometimes the lows can actually take you out of the business producing activities that will help you get up to that emotional high again. Um, and so uh, going for yes is a recipe for you to constantly be having an up and down roller coaster of emotion as you approach your business. However, if you can go for no and remove yourself from the emotion of the no or the yes, like now you don't have ups and downs in your emotional reaction. And so you're able to stay laser focused at helping people. You're not dragged into the ditch just because you heard the word no, because you understand the pendulum of success swings equally to the opposite side of the no. So um, we're going to talk about how to make it fun. So another thing that typically happens is that when we first start out in this business, we only talk to people that we've prejudged. <laughs> Anyone do this? I totally have done this. Um, you go to your friends who you have influence over perhaps, and people who you feel comfortable talking to, you just pick and choose the people who will say yes. Have you ever looked at the names on your list or maybe you've been on Facebook and like somehow intuitively just by looking at their name you know that it's the wrong time to interrupt their day like there's no way you could possibly send a connect message to them because you'd be interrupting something fantastic in the world and so you just you're going to put them on that list for later does anyone ever have that kind of sixth sense where you pause before connecting with people i cannot be the only one right but the thing about when we go into um, just talking with people that we have influence over, that's really not how you build trust. Do you understand how, what that is? Because that's, that's almost on the, it's not manipulation in the sense that, I mean, of course your heart is to help them, but you're, you're qualifying people, you're prejudging them. And the key to success as a business owner is not to qualify people, is to just simply ask them a question and let them tell you what, um, what they, their needs are, okay? Um, if you think about it, the average child has fallen about 200 times before walking successfully. So can you imagine like that child who's learning to walk, you know, on attempt number 172 and they bang their head on the coffee table and they're crying if suddenly they just said, I give up, I'm not going to do this anymore, this is too hard, and they never learned to walk? No. We actually, like when we were children, 
we come with like this God's design to actually fight for progress, to fight for better, to, um, to have that resilience to do hard things. But somehow over time, we've kind of learned um, to draw within the lines, to, to not put ourselves in a situation where we feel like we're failing. Um, so here's something that I want to propose to us um, this month. I want everyone on this team to have no goals. <laughs> not no goals as in like zero goals, but no goals. Because Anna and I are totally um, guilty of this, by the way, and it happened even last month. What's wrong with yes goals? Anybody want to take a guess at, the ch at, it, at what's wrong with yes goals in the chatter? What happens when you achieve your yes goal? Think about it for a second. You stop. <laughs> yes, Carla got it. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, the teacher got it. You stop. As soon as you reach that yes goal, you take your foot off the gas and you stop. So last month, Andrew and I had a collective goal. We were like, together, we would love to hit success club 40 and we hit success club 42 and guess what we like from that moment on the the second half of the month we didn't have any any more challengers we stopped how ridiculous is that amazing momentum momentum with 42 success club points and we stopped that doesn't make any sense does it but if you have no goals if you're shooting for a hundred no's a month guess what you're not going to stop at Success Club 6, are you? You're going to continue to go until you hit your no goal. So that's what I want to help you start thinking like a business owner and help you flip the relationship and how to make no fun because you're going to make it a goal. And here's something to really consider. What did they really say no to? Because if we're approaching this correctly, when we talk to people, we are taking our time on that step two and we're really getting to know their, their goals, what they've tried in the past, you know, what you know, they're, they're sharing the most intimate parts of their life with us. They're eating, uh, their relationship with food, the relationship with exercise, the relationship with themselves and how they feel about like past failure. And so sometimes they do say no, but if we're doing this the right way, um, the no becomes an opportunity to help them anyway. Everyone should be running free groups. Everyone on our team should be running free groups. If they say no to your full challenge, you can offer them to go into the free group. No, going for no really allows you to even, like just serve others even more than your heart is already set on because you can help them take a baby step. They don't wanna go in a free group, you can give them a meal plan. You can leave them with a blessing. You can do something to add value in their life because I know the heart of our team. It's not about the successful point. It's not about you know, the, the bottom line. It's about helping people change their life. So help them anyway. Find, you view that no as an opportunity to shock them because you're not going to run away and say, well, forget you then. You're actually going to lean in and say, well, here, why don't you try this, you know, meal plan and I'll, you know, check in with you in a few weeks. And you set a, an appointment on your calendar and you just send them a note and you're like, hey, how'd that, how'd that meal plan go for you? They'll be shocked that you actually care. And that's how that no eventually becomes a yes. There's a great book um, uh, called Go For No, and uh, I highly encourage it if no is a, is a sticking point for you. But here is your homework. We are going to do a Go For No team challenge. Okay, this is in perfect timing with Team Cup. I don't know why my dog is barking. Hold on a second. Hey, guys. Oh, my backup partner, Andrew Bowen, is not here. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just about to say this is what happens when I'm not there. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts out here. So, um, 
So basically the go for no challenge is a challenge to go for a hundred no's in August and to celebrate the yeses, of course, but to actually the win this month is to go for a hundred no's. And so um, we will post that document in the uh, team uh, or in the Rising Phoenix page. Um, and here's the thing, like you can't just like speed drill through the whole five step process like you know definitely if you if you get like 15 no's in a row stop and talk to your upline <laughs> because the goal isn't for you to like be like are you a no awesome no like you you know we need to like make sure that we're <laughs> that we're not just going after a prize but that we're like talking to a human being and actually trying to like you know, overcome their objections and stuff like that. Like their skills within that challenge. I'm just saying, I've had some people who I think they, they wanted the prize so much. They were like, yes or no, 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 no. And they, you know, bypass the five steps invitation script all, altogether. That's not the goal here, but the goal is for you to really try to go for a hundred no's this month. Our BHAG team goals. Oh my gosh, you guys, this scares me to even write it, but I'm just going to do it. I really think our team can do 50 new coaches. I think, I think we can find 50 new coaches who are excited about the direction we are heading, who are excited about helping people. Um, so I'm hoping that as a team that we will grow by 50 coaches in the month of August. I think, you know, this past month in July, we impacted 126 lives, you know, all of us together. I think 200 is actually a low number, but we're gonna aim for it. And I'd love to see six rank promotions. So if, if you're a coach that's going to Emerald, if you're an Emerald, that's, you know, maybe Ruby for you or going to Diamond. If you're a Diamond, that's maybe you, you know, your focus is on uh, a few rank promotions in your own team. Maybe you try to pop a couple Emeralds too. But collectively, I think it would be so cool to just celebrate six rank promotions over the course of the month. Um, and so anyone who does the Go For No Challenge, you are going to get a pair of Super awesome socks. If you didn't know, Andrew is a sock person. In fact, he's probably wearing the badass socks right now. But um, you can either have a pair of the badass socks, or if you would prefer not to be wearing um, badass on your <laughs> on your calves, we have Wonder Woman socks because um, honestly, that's that's what you are when you go for nose. You are a Wonder Woman. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When did the Wonder Woman come into this thing? Well, some people may not want the language on their calf, so I, I gave the option. That was a last-minute audible. <laughs> I'll take one of each. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. You'll have your choice. Um, and then today is the last day to register for Team Cup. I know I have one coach who messaged me pretty late in the evening who's looking for a team. I would need four other people to pair up and and register with her. Um, but uh, for those who are on a team cup and together your team uh, achieves a combined 30 points, basically 30, I don't care how 30 points happen. It doesn't mean you all have to hit success club. Maybe someone on your team does two and someone does 10 and it all nets out to 30 or whatever, but collectively the five of you, um, because I know a lot of the, the prizes for Beachbody require everyone has to hit success club. I just want you guys to work as a team. I want you guys to like all, you know, be in it together. So if you combined earn on your team, 30 success club points, I'm going to send you all, um, a, it's a brand new book by uh, our pastor, John Stickle called follow the cloud. Um, and so I'm super excited about that because it's going to be an amazing, there's like a whole only God story that I'll save for another time, but that will be a, a neat little success club prize. And we will be reading that book together in September. So that, that is how to fall in love with the no. I would love um, to unmute and just kind of talk through. Anybody have some questions or thoughts or feelings or you know, makes you want to vomit? Oh. Anybody? Anybody? I will be. You repeat what you said. <laughs> Sorry. Everything? Hey. No, just 
you went blank right before you unmuted. So no, I didn't I'm, hear what you said. I was said, does anybody have some thoughts or feelings about the Bill for No Challenge or No in general? Or does this kind of change your perspective or your thinking on the no? I actually printed that out, Joy, when you passed it to me the other day. And I haven't like officially circled no for anyone yet. That's going to be hard for me to like to circle a no. You, does that make sense? Like until they actually say no, go away. <laughs> well, that's actually something that I, you know, if I get a crickets message, my, my crickets message has kind of changed where I will say, hey, I just want you to know that I'm really good at what I do. And I don't say that out of vain, you know, conceit or anything like that. Like I'm really good at what I do. So I tell that person, hey, I want you to know you shared with me that you have you know, goals that are important to your health. And because you have goals, they're important to you and that makes them important to me. So I'm just gonna be following up with you until you tell me no. Yeah. Okay. I was like, whoa! But that's the truth. Like, well, if they think like a cricket's little, like I'm gonna not respond to you is gonna keep me from talking to them. They, that, I, I don't have any emotional attachment to that. I, they've already shared with me that they have health goals. I know they're important to them. I know that it's fear that's holding them hostage. Hey, Kristen, I, I think I've, I've got it on the tail end of the question, but is it about hearing those or about entering, answering their questions? Because Carl touched on that at Summit Joy. Remember when he said, um, you know, you give them all the information and then they still say no. And the best way for him is to say, okay, I just don't understand. I've shared with you how to get you to your goals. So what more can I give you to, to get you to say yes or to get you to join us? Um, because when we've laid everything else out, he just kept saying kind of, to me, it was kind of like act stupid and go, oh, I don't understand. What part are you not, not getting from us? And I thought that was clever um, to kind of try that approach. Yeah. A lot of people just have a fear of failure. That's what I found. Yeah. Like they're afraid to try something new and fail. And so they, they're afraid to, to really actually believe that they can do it. So that's why I never give up on them. Cause I, I mean, I, I, I know they can, I believe in them, but I don't say like, I don't, when I said what I say in my crickets message, it's not because I'm, I'm, you know, tooting my own horn. It's because I want them to know I'm not giving up on them that the whole world may have, but I'm not gonna, you know. Um, I will post the go for no in a PDF on our team page after the call. Awesome. Okay, a couple of dates that I'll share with you real fast for those of you who are planners. I didn't have time to make a fancy little graphic. But um, August 14th, for those of you who are of Emerald rank, you know, you've been a coach for at least two, three months and you're Emerald rank, um, I would encourage you to, you know, make that shift to having your challenge group earlier in the month rather than at the end of the month. Um, the sooner you can kind of shift your working month from, to go, instead of like the 1st to the 31st of August, our month operates the 15th to the 15th. So that helps us, like our deadline to hit success club is the 15th of the month, which is why we always have a challenge group on the, on the second Monday. Um, Cause like we're hustling right now, trying to fill our, our next challenge group and hit success club. And that allows us um, less stress in our life to hit that goal. So, the way our calendar is rolling, we are going to do um, a group on the 14th, a free group on the 21st, and then there will be the co-led um, academy group for new coaches to team up in on the 28th. So any, any of those you can plug in. The sneak peek is, um, I'm waiting to hear back from Stephanie, but it will be the week of the 20th, and I think we're going to try um, like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday instead of the weekend this time. So stay tuned for that. Hey, Joy, is that inside scoop just going to be staying open for, okay. Yeah, I'll just keep adding people. 
All right. Awesome. Any other questions before I release us all into our family? Did that help mm -hmm. at anyone at all? <laughs> I always want to make sure I'm helping you guys and not just, you know, talking to the wind. I'm super excited about this next month. There's a lot of great stuff coming up. So, um, you know, definitely if you are not on a team cup, ping me real quick so I can um, try to fill up this last group or else sweet Shannon's going to not have a team to be on. It's so sad. So um, all that to say, thank you for your time. Go crush August and um, an awesome job. We're so proud of you. Okay. All right. Peace okay. out. Bye.